Coming up on Around Kern County, we're working to combat homelessness in our community. Stay tuned for a look at a new supportive services village coming to Bakersfield. And the fire department wants to make sure you have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. We're sharing their important turkey fryer demo when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're beginning today with an exciting project designed to reduce homelessness in our community. This month, our Kern County Board of Supervisors approved plans, specifications, and notice to contractors for a supportive services village in Bakersfield. This facility is the first of its kind in Kern County and will consist of 50 prefabricated sleeping cabins and other wraparound services for residents experiencing homelessness who cannot enter a traditional shelter setting. Homelessness is a really a, a difficult and nuanced issue here in the community. Uh, there's, there's a number of reasons behind homelessness, mental health, substance abuse, you know, a, a job loss, a number of different issues. Um, and there's different tools needed to address all of them. And so with our nonprofit partners in the city and the county, all trying to bring different resources to the table, this kind of non-congregate shelter is really something we don't have right now. So the county recently opened up safe camping and safe parking. That's another example of kind of a unique solution to meet some of those more challenging individuals that won't come into a homeless shelter yet. A way to build trust, to get them engaged, to help address some of their underlying issues and move them further along towards recovery and then permanent housing. We're thrilled to give this portion of our community a safe place to live while providing them with life-changing resources. And we're expected to break ground on this project in the new year. For more information, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. And as the weather cools down, clients of the M Street Navigation Center need your help staying warm. Right now, M Street and Camp K are hosting their annual Warm for Winter Coat Drive. The community is invited to donate coats, jackets, and sweatshirts sizes large and up. These items will be put to good use and given to current residents of M Street who are in transition from homelessness to permanent housing and employment. Now, if you don't have clothing to donate, M Street is also accepting monetary donations to help clothe our community's most vulnerable during these chilly months. Donations can be dropped off Monday through Friday from 8 in the morning until 5 in the evening at 2900 M Street. For more information, please contact Sandra Houselog. That email and phone number are on your screen. This week, if you can believe it, is Thanksgiving, and the Kern County Fire Department wants to make sure you have a safe holiday, especially if you're planning to deep fry a turkey. Let's take a look back on their recorded demonstration to make sure you avoid, well, take a look. So we're going to demonstrate the improper way to fry a turkey, which would result in burns and or a large fire. If the oil or the propane fire spreads, we want to use the fire extinguisher that we set aside in a handy location to extinguish that flame. When we're getting ready to fry the turkey and place it into our pot, we want to make sure that our area is clear, our pets, children, or other people that are curious and want to see the great turkey fry be standing away from it so that way if there is something that goes wrong, we don't have multiple people get hurt. This is uh, very important for the community to understand the hazards of from frying a turkey. So the first step in frying a turkey safely is to find a flat location on sturdy ground. We don't want to do it inside due to the risk of CO poisoning from the heater and we want to make sure it's not in the covered awning. What we want to avoid is having a frozen turkey that's wet because water and oil don't mix and having it overfilled with too much oil and dropping it in there suddenly. I recommend people wear hand protection, gloves or, or oven mitts to handle the heat, long sleeves, pants, closed-toed shoes, and some sort of eye protection. You can now donate to the Department of Human Services 35th Annual Holiday Cottage. 
Anna Marie Odo with our countywide communications team is here with those details. Community members can fulfill Christmas wishes for local children in foster care by helping purchase their holiday gifts. Right now, you can sign up to adopt a child by monetarily donating to Kern Partnership for Children and Families. That funding will be used to purchase presents for Kern County children in foster care, making their holiday season a little brighter. To get involved, please visit their website, kernpartnership.com. You can also find more information about the program by visiting kcdhs.org. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We wish you a happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you right back here after the holidays.